<laughs> I mean, what? Spring has officially started and we have a lot to harvest. I've got cucumbers and beans, and I'm gonna give you an update on our Florida vegetable garden as we get heading into our next season. So come join me. Got some nice sized cucumbers. <laughs> we got three good sized cucumbers here. So these are these Cherokee black beans that I got growing here. I got a lot to harvest here. So one of the things you'll find when you're trying to get beans that are gonna go dry is they actually dry and they, well, they form from the bottom of the plant up, but they also dry from the bottom up. So you can have beans that are dry at the bottom of the plant and not dry <laughs> at the top. And in Florida, one of the big things is, is when they're getting dry, you don't wanna leave them on the vine for too long, especially as we head towards the rainy season, because then they'll get moldy. Or what might end up happening, <laughs> got like beans right behind me. Um, what could also happen is they will start to sprout in their pods and that could be a problem because they are just hanging up high. So they won't be really good. You could still eat them, but they wouldn't be really good for, um, it would be really good for planting back in the ground. And that's what I found when I planted some of the beans that I had done last year. I'm dropping them everywhere. What I found last year or earlier this year is that beans that I grew last year that I left on the vine too long, I was having a lot of problems with them sprouting. But this year I actually planted, I got some to sprout and I immediately took them off and then I planted them again and then again, and I've gotten some really, really good results. <laughs> these are huge dried pods compared to what I've had before. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna put some of these back in the ground because we got a lot going on here and we'll let them go as long as they can. And we'll just keep going and going and going into spring planting these and see how many beans can we get. Like see some of these, these might've been purples. I have some that are purple, some that are uh, the tan color or they go green to like a, they're just each different. But these ones might've gotten a little too wet. They were lower to the ground, kind of near the sprinklers. But you can see we got a really nice, we got a really good harvest going here. And what I found with the black beans is that because the trellis is so high, a lot of people do like a small teepee trellis that's maybe two, three feet, four feet max high, that they can have only a few beans because they really crowd each other out. But because these trellises go up so high, we often find that the beans, well, they just go up one little itsy bitsy pole and they don't spread anywhere else. So having a plant and then a plant and then a plant and then a plant actually works out pretty well. So where I used to plant them a lot further apart, I've actually been starting to plant them a lot closer together. we got here. Ah! Oh no, they fell off. I didn't expect it to fall off. Well, maybe it'll turn green inside. Those are the Everglades tomatoes. And I see it is spreading quite a bit. I was warned by a few of you that these are going to take off way faster than the tomatoes that I'm used to. So I'm going to definitely, well, I brought my little Fiskers out here. I'm gonna definitely prune them again. Even though I only pruned them like, I think was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? It hasn't been that long. Um, and they are definitely, they're going a little crazy. <laughs> so we'll keep them contained. I found another cucumber.
So the way I'm making sure I find all these beans, because I got a lot on here, is I'm just kind of following each vine up to make sure I can get as many of them as possible. We got a really good harvest. Now you could go and harvest these and be able to eat them um, like green beans. And they are really sweet when they're small, not like this, but when they're like really teeny tiny, they're very yummy. Ben and I'll come through here and snack on them a lot. The longer that you leave them on the vine, the easier it is to take them off the vine. Oh, hi, go fritillary. Here, you guys hang out here for a minute. I'll keep working on getting these green beans in. Oh no, where did I drop that one? Oh, here they are. Wow, we got a really good harvest actually. <laughs> This is so much better than last year. I've only done one arch. I still have to go do the other one. Okay, I think I got everybody on this arch. Nope, oh, got more. These ones look like they got moldy. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me hold them against my shirt. <laughs> but yeah, these ones look like they might have gotten moldy. I think we got this arch. So we'll go to the other one and we'll start working on grabbing the beans off that one. Ugh. Can you watch my harvest, please? Wow, look at this bean harvest. This is crazy how big it is. So let's go now and we're gonna go look at all the plants that we put in for spring and see how they're doing. Okay, let's start with the ones I'm sure people are the most excited by, which is tomato plants. So these are the Bonnie Originals. They're looking really good. I'm just gonna take some of these guys off while we're here. But overall, the plants are doing pretty good. They've been in the ground for now like two, three weeks and they're growing nicely. We got new beans coming in. These are ones that I planted a few weeks ago. I'm gonna take a couple of those beans that I had just harvested and I'll replant the area again because they just take up so little space and why not get more harvest? Let's go next to the lemon boys. So these are also looking really good. You can see it's gotten really tall over the last couple of weeks. So we've grown, I think we were about here. So we've put on another stem so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of prune some of this back. One, get it off the ground more and get just that singular stem going. So it puts a lot of energy to getting up and then getting itself in a place where it's gonna start putting out tomatoes. But the lemon boy looking good. Oh, here's the other lemon boy. Also looking really tall. These ones seem to be really happy. So if you're considering varieties so far, so good with what we're doing. So I'm just taking off some of the lower pieces right now as we get, allow it to keep growing. All right, the Parker's Whopper, oh, okay. We've got our first tomato. This is one of the ones I think is supposed to get bigger. So we're gonna take off, whoops. We'll take off a little bit of the leaves let it focus on going up. We already did that. Look, Everglades tomato, we got tomato. Oh, Everglades tomato, look, we got our little tomatoes here. So we're doing good and this plant is here. It's, it starts all the way back here, goes up, comes out here. So I think this is the warning everyone was giving me. Oh my, seems to be three main branches of this thing. So it is, it is going a little nutty. So that's great. We'll be happy. We'll we'll clean it. I'll clean up all this mess here later. But that's a cool that that one already has a tomato on it. And then of course our Everglades. Oh, and we're flowering. So that's really exciting. Let's just get rid of this lower stuff. And that way you can focus on. 
see that? I've got flowers, so that's really good. It's the plant happy. Ooh, these are those little beans that I said. If you can get them, really sweet, really yummy. Don't eat the stem. <laughs> so let's look at this Everglades tomato. It is all the way up to here. It is putting a lot of effort into growing right now. And oh, more beans. You can see tomatoes over here. And we got tomatoes right here. There we are. So I don't know how much longer until they go green to red, but should be soon. I'll have to keep checking on those. All right, center bed. Wow. Well, you can see my pumpkins are going nuts. I'll talk about those more in a second. But here are those Cubanelles. Look, we've got, oh wait, these are not Cubanelles. These are actually a different type of bean plant, which I think, oh, I need to harvest them over there. <laughs> so we got a couple of beans. These ones are, red. these aren't the black beans. They are, they look like that. All right, I'm gonna have to go put these over there too. Man, I got a lot of beans. I'm gonna be, have to be shucking a lot later today. So you can see the pumpkins are going nuts. But let's check these middle beds. So Ed replanted a different type of bean I'll show you in a second. It's a stew type bean. I forget what the name of it is. I always forget the name of it. But it grows really low. It does trellis, but it only gets to like maybe two, three feet tall versus those black beans that go way up there. So this is one that if you wanna do one of those like low TP trellises like that, it would be like that wouldn't be a, those would be a good one for it. I'll have to look up the name later and I'll put it down below. Um, but if we look at the Cubanelles, they are growing really nicely. Looks like nobody's got flowers on it yet for the Cubanelles. Oh, my basil's starting to go to flower. But we did collect some of that. Ooh, who's over here? Oh, this is that Cajun. The Cajun one definitely flowered. And we got some peppers already. Wow, look at that. That is exciting. Beautiful basil. We used some of that in our pasta the other day. That's the mystery pepper. We're still not sure what it is. I think these are the jalapenos. See the jalapenos? No, these are, which ones are these ones? Oh, wait, ha, ha, ha. Giant Marconis, here we go. Giant Marconis right here, already flowering, already putting on some peppers. And that's only what, two, three weeks since we originally planted them. So that's exciting. And then here's our jalapenos. We're starting to get our first flower buds right here. So that's exciting. And there is, <laughs> I called it, our, um, what is that? Cilantro, there we go. And here is our cilantro. It's going to see which is great because we use coriander regularly. So I will be definitely gathering that once it goes to seed. Ugh. We harvest these beans. I think these are the calypsos. I got here. I'll have to go and check what these are. And here you can see the basil that I put in. Looks really good. I actually harvested these green onions and some of these green onions over here, which are bolting. So these are going to go to seed. And when they go to seed and they flower, oh my gosh, the bees love, 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 love green onion. They love that because they're part of the Allium family. So what I did is when I harvested the green onions, these are all grown from scraps. I just took off some, but I left this. It'll grow more um, and then I'll collect the seeds again, which is a really nice and easy way to get seeds. And then it seems to have worked. I replanted corn and I planted sunflowers. They have not sprouted yet, just the ones that were already here. But what has worked is no one has come digging. So my idea about using my onion scraps, which you can see one here. Oop, did it die? It just died. It's okay. The ones that, who's this? Oh, look, our first sunflower. That's exciting. And here, here's one of my other onion scraps. Can you see it? And the way you know it's working, look at that. Can you see that? It's starting just to sprout up. And all I do is I just really just kind of put it so that it makes contact with the dirt. And generally they take off. And if it doesn't, and it does like that one, it's fine. You're gonna throw it away anyways, who cares? And I'll just replace that with another onion scrap that I have coming along. Here are the onion scraps. The other onion scraps also starting to take off right there and right there. And they did exactly what I was hoping. No one dug in my bed. So now all I just gotta do is wait for seeds to start taking off here. All right, let's check our other tomatoes. So here we have our grape tomatoes. 
also doing really good. Looks like we put out some flowers out here. So overall looking good, no tomatoes yet. On this side, also looking really good, grape tomato. Over here, this lemon boy didn't get as big yet. And it's kind of leaning away from my trellis, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. I'm gonna take this big leaf off because I don't really want that. And my Bonnie original is, where is it? Do, 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 do. It's doing really good. And then I had another tomato plant. I must have planted seeds earlier and totally forgot about it, and they are putting out tomatoes. And this is one of the ones I think I planted in the fall, and it just, I did it late fall, and it just kind of hung out. So I have no idea which one this one is. So our one slicer, when we put it in, it kind of snapped. If you actually saw the original video, it was um, already bent over here. And I have just been shoving it more and more in the dirt. It's gonna look sad for a while. We'll just let it be. If it dies, it's okay. We got a bunch of other tomato plants. And now let's go look at my pumpkin madness because it is crazy what's going on over here. So there was one plant here and this one plant has become all of that and all of that. It is just crazy. And it's been putting out so many flowers. So we got a lot of male flower. Oops, there goes a male flower. The bees have really been enjoying it. But we started getting our first female flowers in. Did you see it? Can you see it? I hope you can see it. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. We are starting to get. I think we're gonna be getting some of the pumpkins. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, and if you're wondering where I got these seeds, these are the ones that came from um, David the Good's daughter, Davey, Daisy the Good, or maybe Daisy Goodman. I'm not really sure where her Etsy store is. I'll link it again down below, but that's where I got these seeds and I'm so excited. I am super excited for this because, oh, oh look, 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 look. Can you see this? Can you see this? Oh, look at that, another summer pumpkin. I am so excited for this. I do not have pumpkin dishes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these pumpkins, but I'm really, really excited about, oh, here's three more. Can you see these? Oh. Hopefully these all got fertilized by the bees. The bees have really, really been enjoying them. And I've got more over there and there. And I even have one that did finally climb. Most of the time when I tried to get them to climb, they were like, no, not having it. But this one actually did. So I'll be curious to see what's different about this one. But there's a pumpkin right there. Ah, this is so exciting. So let's go check on our raised beds. So overall, they're just growing. Um, we've been harvesting less of like a lot. So that one's looking, <laughs> well, it's looking, it's looking a little, it's looking a little, it's looking a little well used. So we've been getting lettuce out of there, which is great. Our cabbage. I mean, we've got some damage, but who cares? It doesn't matter as long as the head, which the main heads have been looking great. So I am really not worried about the fact that there's some outer leaf damage. I'll let the bugs have it. I don't really care, but ooh, onions. Who doesn't love onions? We're gonna have so many onions. And this is one of the things I would like to show you how crazy amount of drop we've gotten since we filled these beds. So thank goodness these have been shallow I mean, can you see that? That was like, that is almost six inches of drop that we've gotten since we first put these in a few months ago. So when I go and transition them to the warm weather crops after I harvest these, I will do something to top it off. Don't know what yet, but look at all these onions. Like again, I said, I have no idea. No idea what we're gonna do with all this, but I, cause I never really grown this level of onions before. So I was just really excited and I figured we'd lose about half of it and we didn't. So we're gonna eat a lot of green onion soup. Oh, and really cool thing is, is I learned how to make like, um, I don't know if it's soda bread, but I, I learned how to make a very easy bread, which this with that bread, really gonna be good. Okay, up next, our little pot. Our little three crop pot. We're gonna go check on that one remember in this this one pot I don't even know if you can see the pot it is there is a pot here it's one of those like a $25 pots from Home Depot that's like terracotta but they paint it pretty colors ours has just lost its color and it's got three different crops in it it's got garlic it's got Everglades tomato and it's got a carrot or two carrots I'm not really sure how many carrots I basically have let this completely alone so we've got a carrot here that I just can't even <gasps> oh Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how big this 
thing is. Is it gonna be good? I mean, I didn't grow a lot of carrots this year. But one, I mean, like, just one giant one, I guess, is good. <laughs> I mean, what? What? That's crazy. That Okay, let, that's, that's a harvest right there. Oh my gosh, let me fill that hole in. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, wait, and here's another carrot. Let's see. Nice. Look, I'll take it. One regular carrot and then... And look at this thing. It's got garlic, tomato, and a carrots in it. I've always heard you're not supposed to put tomatoes and carrots together. Well, Everglades tomato and carrot all day. These guys did great. And if you look here, there's like no pest activity. I'm going to say that now that we're going to get tons of pest activity. But like all of this just looks like a lot of nice green. Wow. This is... <laughs> I can't wait to show Ben. I'll be like, you want carrots? I got you some carrots. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, 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 that's ginormous. And there's one more thing I got to harvest and I have to harvest this one every day to keep up right now. Like if I don't, it'll be a mess. It'll be a mess and then there'll be a ton of fruit flies. And that is our mulberry trees. They are packed. We've already, oh, just like in the first few days of them really getting going, I think we've already harvested six, seven, seven pounds already seven pounds. It is between one to two pounds a day, a day <laughs> that we have had to harvest. So, I mean, hashtag urban homesteading problems, but like, oh my gosh, like it's crazy how many, the fruit is great. And we've been trying out a new method with using bug nets to help increase the harvest yields, which you can see a little bit behind me. I'll do a different video on it probably later, really going into what I did, but you'll see in a second, I'll show you. We've been doing big time harvest. Whew. Okay, gotta pull my hair up before we <laughs> start collecting all these mulberries off the ground. And the thing is, is though, because it's getting warm, it's spring, which means our 2022 winter season shirt is gonna be going bye-bye in the next two weeks. So if you wanna make sure you get it, go ahead and scroll down on your computer below the video or on your phone, you can just scroll down a little bit and you'll see the Wild Floridian store and you can pick up your winter shirt. And the thing is, is if you're a Wild Floridian member at the highest level, Wild Floridian level, then you get 25% off all the merchandise in the store. So if you would like to do that, go ahead and check it out. Okay, now we're gonna pick up all these mulberries. <laughs> Looks like we got about a pound. And then I'm just going through and, you know, quality assurance testing. But honestly, I cut down my harvest time so much. It's reduced a lot of fruit flies. Look at that. Took me just like seven minutes to get that. Would have taken me a half hour last year. Oh my gosh, can you believe how big this harvest is? I mean, we got cucumbers, a ton of beans, and these giant carrots. And then of course, all the berries to go. This is what makes vegetable gardening and gardening in Florida so great is that you can just garden all year round. And we've got more gardening we've got to get doing um, because we got to start some more seeds for mid late spring and early summer. And then um, we just, there's just so much gardening to do. More stuff for butterfly gardening, wildflowers. So if you want to continue to join me, go ahead and like and make sure you subscribe. New videos each week. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.